Hey buddies, it's your girl Christine, and today I'm actually really excited to get back into this. I know it's only one season, but it's been fun. It's like weird and creepy and like mysterious, but fun at the same time. This is Over the Garden Wall, season one, episode five, chapter five, Mad Love. Um, yeah, let's just dive in. The little baby, Colin Dean, playing Gregory, he's got this sweet voice, but he's in these like weird situations that are like creepy and like oh let's dive in because of reacting to this my husband actually went and watched the show and he said he really likes it so i'm excited to get back in check out the links down below to become a member of patron to get the uncut reaction of this episode and like the video to help me out in the algorithm let's get started i'm nibbling on a cookie what are you nibbling on right now healthy <laughs> Gregory. Oh. He's... You get your feet off your plate. Uh. Mm -mm. Help him out. Oh, are they his nephews? <laughs> They're not. Oh, wow. Um, oh, I forgot the horse can talk. Oh. How much does he have? Only two cents. Yeah, we need two pennies to take the ferry to Adelaide's pasture. Uh, what's wrong, Ruthie Endicott? Your forehead is all sweaty. My 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 chest are a bus these days. Oh, some up with him. Yes, yes. Maybe it would be good to to talk to someone. Well, he. It all began one day when I was exploring my exceedingly large and labyrinthine manor here. Okay. <laughs> no, it it's not funny. Okay. Uh, he sees her. With the painting. This man, this little boy, is so cute and sweet. <laughs> right, right. Oh, he's so cute. They are not your nephew. Uh, I'm glad he's just so chilled with it. I think you on the brink of madness. He seems like he would be somebody in Bob um Bob's Burgers. <laughs> so he wants it to be a ghost. <laughs> oh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, open open the door. Well, I, I don't think these coats have pockets. Check the lining. Maybe somebody sold money into the fabric. Well, okay, that's very detailed. That? Right, that's... You wear clothes? Like a little yeah. bird vest or something? <laughs> or little bows? When I was a human fool. <laughs> human? Did I know that? I was going to say, I literally was going to say, did I know that? Did we know that? Oh, there's like a breeze. There's a breeze coming out of here. Mm-hmm. Oh, where's this? Oh, he's small enough to crawl through that. My secrets are too secret. Hey, look, light. Whoa, now he's avoiding the question. 
Is that the truth? Whoa. Your whole family? Yeah. The whole thing? Is that why you're going to Adelaide? To fix them? That was the plan. Well, it's weird to admit it, but well, I I have this crush on this girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That's all. That's all? And I think about her a lot, and I play clarinet. Work. You gotta be kidding uh. me. And I secretly whisper poetry to myself in my room at night. Work, that stuff's not weird. Those are just well, well the poetry. reciting poetry. <laughs> it is, but it is also reciting poetry. Sort of. What else do you do? I don't know. Hey, does this room look different to you? Uh, how so? It's like French Rococo style. That doesn't mm. really seem in line with Endicott's Georgian sensibility. How no, it doesn't. Who else am I talking to right now? Right? How does he know this? Endicott probably just built it without thinking, right? Almost. Whoa. What? Uh, what? Is she actually there? Does she think she's seeing a ghost? No ghost, but I am bad. Well, wait. Yeah. And that's T. <laughs> oh, does he think he killed her? Oh. Oh. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. Oh. Right, this cute little boy. So did he kill her? Oh no, she is alive. Oh, and she probably thinks he's a ghost. Are you all right? I welcome you to my home. Your home? Good sir, <laughs> you're in my home. Impossible. Has he been living here this whole time? This is my camellia garden for my tea company. Margaret, oh. Pray, why with all due respect, madam, this is my tea garden. Oh, wait, what? You guys' mansions are so huge, they're actually connected. Oh. Beautiful ghost was really just that dashing there was Oh, they like each other. Oh, and they're kissing? So their mansions are so huge they that's wild that they connected. He is. Good sense, I don't know, but sweet, yes. And here's one from me as well. that's all they needed. What is he about to do? Good woman of the woods. Uh, well, what about you, Fred? Are you coming with us? No, thanks. I've got a real job now. As an oh, okay. He, he's ta he's, he doesn't want to steal anymore. to shove him in i want to just shove that little boy in like this is the way that she <laughs> oh my goodness i just want to go you know what go get them pennies poop or like mm, mm. shove him in he could swim right uh, he looked like he could swim he gonna be okay all right he looked like a swimmer man got a teapot on his head how you going to teapot on your head and you can't swim that wouldn't make any sense right so he could swim he gonna be okay that <laughs> I'm so mad. You know what that made me think of? That made me think of the Owl House. That ending of that one episode, the episode with like the Hootie episode, which was like a great, great, great episode, one of my favorite episodes. But at the end, when the guy comes up and gives him a letter, and then Hootie just eats the letter, like, oh well. <laughs> I was like, what Hootie now? I mean, it turned out it was a good thing he did that, right? But we didn't know that at the time. So maybe, hey, maybe it was a good thing that he did this, that Greg did this. We'll see, you know, we'll see. <laughs> just want to shove that. I just want to shove him in, bruh. 
Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, okay? Do you think that Gregory can swim? Let me know down below. Also, check out the links down below to become a member of Patreon so you can get the uncut reaction to this episode. And like the video to help me on the algorithm. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles. <laughs>